Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, Market Center Technologist and ALC member, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your command website. Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, ALC member and Market Center Technologist. Um, since we all have a little bit of downtime and I know some of you guys don't have your website up right now, I feel like you should um, probably get your website running. So this is going to be a real quick thing for me to show you how to get your website running and um, create the basic pages here. Um, the basic pages are going to be a contact page, a about me and an about the company type page, but you can modify those to, to make them really um, how you feel like you need them. So uh, let's move over here to this one. Here we go. So. What we've got here is, I'm in command right now, and this is just the uh, normal, uh, this is the consumer tab, which is down here at the bottom. Again, if you click on the red square up here, it'll show you all of the different labels here. So you can click on consumer, and that's gonna bring you to the page that I'm on currently right here. So now I have my pages set up already. So uh, there's my three pages that I have. Um, it's going to default to your landing pages. These are individual websites that you can build per property just to showcase one listing. Um, I have other videos about that. They're going to be up in the uh, little cards up the top. You're going to see it pop up right now. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the bottom here, and there's going to be this thing called configure your site. You're probably not going to see any of this stuff because you don't have anything there. Um, but you should see configure your site here which will take you to the website builder that you can walk through. And it's very simple. First thing that's gonna ask you is what do you wanna do? What provider do you wanna use? Um, if you have a paid third party that you continue using, you can use that and that's fine. Um, if you just want the free command website that we set up, um, looks real nice, you are able to search for properties, you can generate leads, and um, now you can capture your um, uh, client reviews on there. You're just going to use this first option for I want to use the new KW agent sites. So that's good. We're going to do that. So we're going to click submit. And then it's going to bring you to a page. Another little thing. Um, this is the Kelly guide. Um, and this is, says what should I expect out of getting, or, you know, what should I expect to get out of this guide? You're going to choose your subdomain. My subdomain is listingguruca.kw.com and then you're going to pick your theme and styling and then you're going to create pages so we can go ahead and get started for here um, this is just a compliance reminder and it just says that all agent sites must meet the following it has to have your market center logo um, it has to have an ownership statement that's in the footer which I believe it's defaulted you don't have to really worry about it it just says each office is independently owned and operated um, and then it says you have to comply with any local border commission laws or rules. Um, there's nothing that's that restrictive that we have to worry about for our local area here, which is the Victor Valley. Um, you can click here. If you don't know what your markage, what the, what the brokerage logo looks like, you can click there and find it. Um, you can't just create your own Keller Williams logo. Um, it goes against the policy that you signed when you, that goes against the franchise policy that you signed up when that you signed when you signed up with Keller Williams. Um, you can't, you're not even supposed to use old Keller Williams logo. Um, once they come out with a new one, you have to continue to use that one. So it can, uh, every few years, I'm sure, you know, they've, they've gone from the really curly one and then they did the KW with the line in the middle that said Keller Williams, but they no longer use that. So you should not be using that either. And if you have those saved on your computers or on your business cards, you really have to update it. It should be the KW with the Keller Williams Realty underneath. And then there is a very specific format for putting words next to KW. Um, if you need our brokerage, our Keller Williams Victor Valley logo, text me, call me, email me. Um, I will email it to you. I will send it to you so that you have it. Um, if you've created your own and it does not follow the very specific rules that Keller Williams has for using their logo, um, you could be in copyright violation. So just to let you know, or trademark violation. Um, so just to let you know that that's a big deal. So you're just going to acknowledge and continue. That was my compliance rant. <laughs> um, got my head cut off here. So 
Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your subdomain. So um, this is what it looks like. So mine is going to be listingguruca.kw.com. I already have that. So in here, in this box, you're going to put whatever you want. Um, you only one. You can only have one person to have one name. So if you're on a team, only one person can choose the team name as your subdomain. You can't have all of you have the same subdomain. Um, so you could do something like first initial, last name, team name, or something like that. You know, whatever you want to choose, it's fine. If you own a subdomain, or if you own a domain that you purchase through GoDaddy, um, Google Domains, which is very cheap, it's $12 a year for most domains, um, or you have your, your realtor, your, your dot .realtor um, domain. I used to have one of those for a really long time. I used those for four years. I really liked it, um, but I just decided to brand myself all the same, um, then you can go and you can forward your owned domain that you purchased by a third party, and you can just forward that domain to this subdomain here. And then that will allow you to keep your your domain on your business cards, everything that's already printed. Um, like right now, all my business cards say um, BrianCollins.Realtor. So right now I have BrianCollins.Realtor forwarding to ListingGuruCA.KW.com. So that's your listing, or that's your that's your subdomain um, of the KW website. And then you have your marketing profile, and this is going to be a big one. This. Your marketing profile that you fill out here is what your website is going to pull all of the details from and create that. Um, it's going to, like, up top here, or sorry, right here at the bottom where it says, has my name, my phone number, and an email address. All of that is being pulled from right here. You cannot edit your Market Center brokerage. There's a few different layers of where information gets pulled from. Right now, your website gets pulled your website information gets pulled from your marketing profile in command. Your command information gets pulled from your com, um, your KW Connect profile. And your KW Connect profile is pulled from your myKW.KW profile, which is like the white pages and all that stuff. It's the old, the old system we used to log into all the time. Um, so if you have any questions about where something is being pulled from, like you can't figure out where a picture is, um, you're going to need... Your marketing profile, your command profile, KW Connect profile, and your mykw.kw.com profile. That's going to be the um, the biggest area. You know, those are going to be the four main areas where all of your information is being pulled from. Uh, let's see. All right. So it says team or business name. So if you don't have a team, you could just put. Um, you know, your team name or your, your business name. And I, I go with just Brian Collins Realtor at, Kel at Keller Williams. That's my, that's my, you know, what I call myself, I guess. Um, your bio, you're going to want to put your bio in here. And all these, if you see this little, this little um, icon here in the corner, you can drag that and make it big. So you can make it bigger if you need to. Um, in the legal footer, I put my associate Calbury license number, you know, blah, 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 with Keller Williams Victor Valley, and then I put their license number again. Now, because it's already that the individually, I left the individually owned and operated different, because I used to say each office was independently owned and operated, but then it, it, since it defaults and it includes that information, I had it down there double. So now I just leave this um, license number, and I just feel like it shows up on every page, and I don't have to worry about putting anything else weird. Um, and then right here, there's a compliance legal footer. You can add your own here. So before we move forward, what I'd really like to say is that when you're going to do this, you need to have some stuff ready. You need to have your brokerage logo ready. If you have a personal logo, you can have your personal logo ready as well. Um, have your headshot ready and to be uploaded, like, uh, you know, a copy of your headshot on your computer. Um, have your bio ready. Have have some words about what you want to say ready. Um, have any other pictures. Like I like to use listing pictures on a lot of. You'll see a lot of this stuff. This one I just left standard because I really like this aerial view. And, um, but you're gonna want to have all this stuff ready before you dive into all of this stuff because you got to fill out the fields and then once you've published it. So once you've saved everything, then you know, all of the things that you wrote or if you decided to wait on a record, those are going to be published and visible to the public. 
All right, so now I've got that stuff out of the way. Here's where you can put your imagery. Um, it even says right here, it gives you all of the different things. Um, profile picture, recommended size is 360 by 360. Um, you always want to go bigger than the recommended size because what happens is if you put a 360 by 360 picture in there, it'll look really great or whatever. But if anybody clicks on it, when it goes to get bigger, it's going to look really weird and pixelated. So it basically 360 by 360 just means that you need a square picture. Whether it's 1,000 by 1,000 or 500 by 500, make your picture square, crop it, do whatever you need to do to it. Um, that will make it nice. And as long as it's bigger than 360 by 360, then it'll look fine. If it's smaller than that, then the system will, you know, be weird about it. Um, Market Center logo, Market Center brokerage logo. You can see it's the Keller Williams Victor Valley Market Center. Um, that's the only logo you should be using for our Market Center. Not anything else, no matter what. That's the only logo. And then I have my personal logo, so it's my team or header logo, 360 by 360. That's actually a 500 by 500. That's how I create my logo. So, um... There it is. And then right here is going to be all of your social media links. Um, put a link to your Facebook page, your Twitter page, um, your LinkedIn profile, your Instagram page, um, your YouTube. And then here is, you can't edit it, but here is a copy of where your app goes. And then you can copy that if you'd like to. Um, so we'll go ahead and save and continue. I didn't really need to do anything there because I already have everything done. Um, so it'll tell you, congratulations, you have successfully saved your, um, um, you know, your subdomain. Um, so there's two different ways you can do this. Next is going to be the style and theme. Your KW dark theme. Um, this right here, that's you can see that I have the dark theme going because the buttons are dark and the background's dark and all that stuff. All this is dark. This picture here, your hero picture, is going to be a dynamic picture. So... Um, you can upload, I, I used pictures of my listings that I liked, and then I had another, you know, like a Bitmoji thing, just kind of fun. Um, it says to upload a 1200 by 1200, right here, recommended size is 1200 by 1200, um, but this picture is dynamic, so as the pictures get, you know, if we move this browser in, you can see that the picture pretty much stays centered, but it doesn't... Um, but you can see it resize itself and as it so you don't want like this one right here has got some text on it this this picture has some this text on it or whatever so it's like it doesn't really it's not a great picture to use for this this picture however is okay um, except that it doesn't seem to want to um, stay very centered it looks like it goes all the way to the top of the picture Versus going to the bottom or just staying as centered as possible. Um, so like this one right here, this is a pretty decent picture. And you can see that if I resize it, it um, you know moves along with it. That one is also not a very good picture. I, need to, I just basically need to crop these down and make them a little bit more. But you can see that as, as I get smaller or bigger, it kind of... So basically what it's doing is it's zooming to the top left corner. So you need to look at the pictures that you're using and try and make sure that the top left corner is, you know, where you're going to be starting your, the good, like this one has too much sky. It was a good picture, you know, with the sky really looking blue and everything. It was nice, but um, it didn't, it doesn't make a really fantastic uh, hero picture. So those are things that I've got to work on on mine. Anywho, so um, that's it. Now you can change this right here. This mine says your listing group California. So this one right here, I can say um, I could change this to say your buyer guru of California. Um, and then that way, I mean honestly, my website is very buyer centric. So you know it's looking for homes, looking for properties. Not a lot of listing information on there. So honestly, I should probably change this whole entire thing. So that way it, um, so that it matches. So we'll save and continue. So now the company profile. Um, 
So you can see down here there's a lot of footer information. I have um, my name with my business name and then the brokerage logo. Here's all of our contact for our brokerage uh, information, address. Here's all the links to uh, my social media. And then my, my footer that I included on the first page says Associate Calbury. Here we go. You know, all that stuff. And then it says Keller Williams is a state, real estate franchise company each. Is independently owned and operated. All that good stuff. Uh, now, I'm a little bit concerned here because I feel like I do have all of this already filled out. So, um, I'm a little bit curious as to what... what I have here. This is supposed to be my... So this is this is what my page looks looks like right now. Um, so you can see the hero images just change randomly and then there's it's an immediate capture there but most people just want to find properties but then they can come here there's the home and there's the profile. I have my profile I'm not really sure why it's taking so long or why it's not loading. There it is. So this is the same thing that we're doing here. Um, instead of a company profile, though, I changed mine to be just the my profile. So it's got my goal here. I have just a few blurbs. Here's a picture of me and a past buyer. And this is a picture of one of my listings I had. You can find your next home. This is where you can sell your home. And down here, because... Um, uh, trying to look, you know, make sure that they know that we buy and sell here. So this is what I, that's how I use these spots right here. A headline title, enter headline description and a picture, and then I use the footer for selling. So how you do that is you can um, go to the content, and then right here it says page header, company profile, that's this. You can change this to... Um, about Brian Collins. I'll make these changes, but since it's still working, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to actually save anything. And then you can upload your picture. So if you have a, a hero picture that you want to use, I use um, this right here. This is a picture from a vacant land listing that I took out in the middle of the desert. Um, I really like this picture, and so I thought it made a, a decent kind of a background picture. And it kind of fits with our deserty theme here. So I use that picture here. And then my intro paragraph is what I use for right here. Brian's first goal is to provide you a match personal and professional level of service. No, no. So I put that in here. Headline text. So this is all, like I said, this is what all this stuff you're going to kind of think about. Um, so you're going to want to know what to write in your intro paragraph. And you're going to want to think about what you want to put here as your headline title. Maybe you want to do um, just a buyer services here. And then here's a seller services. Um, and then you use this footer for you know, just a general about you section. It doesn't really matter what you use it for, you can make it your own. You just need a headline and then a description. Um, I don't even, there's not even, I don't even think there's a limit to how much text you can write there. Um, so you'd go through there and you would edit all three, all of those fields there. Now, that's your content section. Right here, your search engine optimization, this is what's gonna help you um, rank in searching. Your page title, see right here, this says Command Kelly Guides, and right here it says Brian J. Collins. So that is the page title. That's what it's going to be there. Um, um, <clears throat> this page title is one of the first things that a search engine searches when they look to see if your content, the, the what your web page is, is relevant or not. So your page title, Maybe should say, um, Brian Collins, Realtor, Victorville, Hesperia, Apple Valley. And so um, Google is going to look at this when somebody searches for Realtor Hesperia, Realtor in Hesperia. Two of my keywords that I put up there are going to be, you know, are going to match what they put in there. So you definitely want to look at, and each one of your pages is going to have its own SEO. SEO means search engine optimization. Um, 
then your SEO description is going to be, basically, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to look for, I mean, you put your name in there so when people search you by name, you come up first. Um, I'm going to put Brian Collins Realtor and then High Desert. Oops. High Desert Realtor. Um, I don't need to put Realtor again because Realtor is already in there. High Desert and then maybe name the cities. And um, punctuation or punctuation doesn't matter. You can put commas in there, you know, that sort of thing. Um, capitalization doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter if it's Victorville with a capital V, all capitals, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can just do it however you feel that you need to do it. Um, High Desert, Victorville, and then you can put Hesperia, uh, Apple Valley. Let's say Oak Hills, uh, Southern California, California, real estate agent. That's another good word to have in there. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> so make sure that you have this stuff in there. And again, this about us, you can change this um, to, let's just say about. So now it's going to be, you can see that it gives you the example of listingguruca.kw.com slash about. Yep. So then you can continue there. Um, and then the next page is going to be the about me section, um, which I changed. So I, I used profile as mine. That was kw.profile. Um, and then I have the about section, and this is what it's going to look like when you're done. Um, again, your headshot, your name, realtor, LC member, tech runner, real estate school instructor, and then you put your about you, and then it's got some contact information, it's got another contact form. This is really just for them to be able to find you. So you'll put the same things in here. Search engine optimization, you want to make sure that you use all your keywords, keep the keywords short in the title, but then, you know, go all out with your description here. And then you have your about me, and you can change this to anything you want. I mean, you could say about your team or, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Like, you can make it your own. Um, so I'll put about Brian. Contact Brian. They don't have a spot for middle initials, so I just put it at the end of my first name, which I think I'm going to start doing it at the, end of, at the beginning of my last name. But anyways. So that I can continue, and then the next page and the final page is going to be the contact us, and this is what it looks like. Um, I just have it. I just call it contact or contact me because um, I'm not on a team, but it does kind of lean toward teams and um, making the plural you. So contact us, and then it says contact body page text optional. So here under the content, you have your contact us. So I put in there contact me. And then you can put in, um, I love helping people buy and sell homes. It's my passion. And then the message hint, I just like what's in there. So are you looking to buy or sell? What's your time frame? What, what are, where are you in your search and what's your budget? And I feel like that's a good prompt to leave in there. That's pretty much it. It's just a contact page. You save and continue. Um, I have contact me, and then I put. Um, I'm just gonna so I can actually move through here. I put buying and selling a home is a huge deal. I don't take the task lightly. I'm here to answer all of your questions on your time. So contact me, and then I just left the the same stuff in there. It's all good. So save and continue, SEO, you want to make sure that you do that. Now, on this here, I, this shouldn't say this, it says your site will automatically launch on October 1st. That was a long time ago, so should be good to go. Um, site creator, we'll just go ahead and go here. So these are just some general, um, when you're in your agent site options, well, here, I'm just going to save these changes real quick and then... We'll go back here to the, okay. So there's the guide builder. No, 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 that's a whole different thing. We, whew, that's a whole different thing. Um, 
your guide builder is on your is from where your app when people download their app you can look um, let me see if I can pull it up here I don't know how well this is gonna come through so on your on your app right here down at the bottom it'll say guide oops and then it comes up with this with this guide that you can there's two there's a buying and selling and then anyways I don't want to get into this on this video so this is where you would edit your guide that shows up on your app but you you don't need to worry about that right now so this is under the site and app settings here um, you can make quick edits instead of going through the whole entire that that process you can now you can once you have your three your three web pages built and you've gone through the Kelly guide this is where you go to just make changes so um, here's the general settings you can agent site to hero text so find your dream home um, you know that's what is on the main page of your website when you go to your home page that's this right here that's this line is your is your agent site hero text that's this your buyer guru of California um, and then your pictures that you can upload and you can upload up to five of them I only have four currently um, and then the app download app landing page now when you're on your website um, usually maybe it only show I think it shows up when you're on your when you're on your cell phone when somebody's on your mobile app or when you are yeah when somebody's on your mobile website it will prompt them to download your app and you can say you know whatever you want here to get them to download you can also your URLs um, custom domain is coming but that's not something we could do right now so right now you have to use your .kw command so you can change your subdomain here and then this is your app URL um, what I did since I own my own domain through um, uh, since I own my own domain through uh, Google, um, I use this link app right, this app website link right here, and I created another subdomain for my website. So now people can go to app.listingguruca.com, and it will take them to this app.kwk whatever. Um, I have another video that I created about that, so that should show up here in the top corner um, for you to watch as well. I'm not going to go over it right now. Uh, you can change your theme, whether you have the red theme or the dark theme. So I'm just going to update my theme to the dark again. Ooh. And then you, your site pages. Um, this is where you can, so your profile, um, this is where you can do your SEO description and your SEO stuff if you want to change it. So right now my profile, the URL slug is profile, and then I have about, and then I have contact. I do have, apparently I have these other two pages here that I'm not really sure why they are here. Um, maybe you can delete them or something like that. Um, you can add a page. So create new site. That's going to take you to the site page builder. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then you can save all of your changes here. So that's pretty much a overview of getting your website up and running. Please do that as soon as possible. It just benefits you. Um, landing pages is one of the easiest way to lead generate out there. You take a listing. You can get permission to use somebody else's listing if you don't have any. Um, and you can create a landing page as a standalone page. And then you'll get a, a unique URL just like this one. And then the web page is specifically built and just generated about that website. Um, you get all of the about the property here. It looks like this one's not maybe loading properly. I don't know why. Um, so I've got some land in Apple Valley here. You can see that there's um, a picture there. It's got all of the pictures that I took. You'll probably recognize one of them like that. That's the one I use for my background. It's got a map of where it is, all the details. And then I also can embed my YouTube video of my land so that you can watch that. And then I can take this URL right here and I can share it to any 
Facebook, Instagram, anywhere, and people can look at that land and go, oh, yeah, that's land I want to buy. Um, but when you do it with homes, I feel like it definitely you know, garners a lot more attention. So anywho, so that is the consumer, your consumer website. Um, go in there, play around with it, take a look, use this time that you can't be out there doing face-to-face -face stuff to do it. Get it done. Don't hesitate. Do it. That's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.